you got different groups, different people coming against the men of the Lord of Great Millstone for whatever, for self gain or uh, self endowment or or whatever, fulfilling, fulfilling their own lust, trying to put themselves up on a pedestal like that, like like they're better than the leaders of Israel right now. See what I'm saying? Go ahead, bro. And saying, where is the promise of his coming? See, the it said what they did actually, they're mocking and scoffing the prophecy of the Lord's return. They're saying, where is the return of the Lord? That's why a lot of them sell out. That's why a lot of them take their Judas purse. Why? Because they really don't believe in you. How about shit me out a shot? They believe in their own self. See what I'm saying? They get weak. They fight. They really don't want to do this work, man. It becomes a burden to them. You see what I'm saying? They have no faith in you, how about shit me out a shot? That's why they question this return. Oh, it's going to be this way for thousands of years. No, it ain't. I'm going to be able to grow up and watch my children grow up and watch their children grow up. No. That means you love it here. You don't want the Lord to return. You're comfortable in this society, man. See what I'm saying? Yeah, for sure. Right, right. Well, this is uh, 1 Timothy uh, 4, verse 1. Now, the Spirit speaks expressly that in the latter times. See, we're in the latter times right now, which is the last days. Go ahead. Uh, the latter times, some shall depart from the faith. And we're having that right now. A lot of Israelites are departing from the faith. Let's go some more, bro. Go this way. There you go. And some is departing from the faith right now. They're getting weak. See what I'm saying? Like the brother read in the scripture, they're following after their own lust, man. Their own desires. They want to be that dude, that top guy in Israel. See what I'm saying? But they don't understand the consequences that come with that, man. More and more demons start attacking you, man. The higher, the higher level you get in this truth, the higher level de demons you got to deal with, man. See what I'm saying? You got to have a strong, the Lord has to give you a strong spirit to deal with all these different personalities and uh, different demons that's, that's on these people, man. You think it's easy for a prophet to heart to deal with all these men in the truth? No. Being a leader is not an easy job, man. But some of you think in your feeble mind that you want to be that guy and you can handle it. See what I'm saying? That shows what? You don't have faith in your heart by shooting out a shot. You're a vain person, man. You're full of pride that you can't even sit down and consider what it takes to be a good leader. It takes what? To be a good follower, to be a good leader, man. And most of you niggas that fell out the truth was not good followers at all. You bucked up against authority. You bucked up against the word of your heart by shooting out a shot. You got tired of suffering and losing on this side. Go ahead. You know, it's, a first you got right. more. it's a little bit more. Go ahead. It says, departing from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits, teeth, doctrines see, of devils. It said to seducing spirits, man. These these spirits basically mack you like a pimp does a hoe, man. You see what I'm saying? Whisper sweet nothings in your ear, and you fall victim to it and start going and following after this devil, this demon that seduced you. He ran game on your mind. He raped your mind, man. See what I'm saying? And you allowed him to. Just like in prison, most of the men that get raped are not raped uh, uh, forcefully. They they gave it up willfully, man. They let a man mack them just like a broad. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, and, Go uh, ahead. Yeah, how about Shemuel uh, Let them seducing spirits whisper to you. That's right. Because uh, he said, what, what the scripture says, a man going to the Lord, man. That's right. So he let, he allowing you to go off, man. He allowing you to be that nigga that you really want to be. You want to be that dude, he allow you to think that you are that dude. That's right. You know? What if they, they went after their own lust? Their own lust. Yeah, he, he allowing you to go off, man. It, this this the last days, man. Things are, are finna get real different for for Jake, man, out here, man. People playing games, thinking they got all day. You gonna see, man. That's right. Things are speeding up. That's right. That's right. 
Go ahead, bro. Go ahead, go ahead. Giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils. See? Doctrines of devil. Who the number one devil? The white man. That's why we call him the devil. Because he's the number one deceiver on this planet. How does he deceive you with these other ideologies and religions and philosophies that, that you niggas give heed to these seducing spirits, man? You see what I'm saying? These doctrines of devil. Like, what's one of the doctrines of devil that you niggas like Tino and Native Americans finna give heed to you being seduced by this demon of what? Thanksgiving. A lot of y'all are in the grocery store right now shopping for Thanksgiving this week, man. It's See what I'm saying? Y'all are getting ready. And it's so bad that I went to the international store yesterday to get me some sea salt. And I seen Hamites. I seen Israelites. I seen Cushites. I've seen Elamites and Ishmaelites in the store all getting ready to celebrate and worship Thanksgiving. They've been in America so long that they've been indoctrinated by these pagan holidays of Thanksgiving. They didn't worship Thanksgiving back there in the bush in Africa. See what I'm saying? Them Israelites, they prayed to Allah. They didn't do no Thanksgiving. But here in America, they become Americanized, democratized. And now all of them is celebrating what? Thanksgiving. Giving thanks to Esau slaughtering the uh, Gad, the Native American Indian that was here in America before the pilgrims, the so-called pilgrims and Quakers got here. Because the Bible tell you the real pilgrims are Israelites. That's who the real pilgrim is, according to the Bible. You see what I'm saying? So that's them doctrines of devils, them seducing spirits. Go ahead, bro. You got some more you done. That's it, that's it. Go ahead, bro. All right, I'm uh verse four. Take second Peter three and four. It said, and saying, Where is the promise of his coming? For since the father fell asleep, all things continue as they were from the beginning of, of the creation. 